What's up everyone, today I'm going to be doing a quick video, unboxing video of some frogs, handmade frogs, from Southeast Asia. Yeah, some of these are definitely bigger than Bait Finesse stuff. Amir have a good relationship with uh, this brand here and they sent a few extra cool ones, especially this bigger frog because, you know, I like to throw uh, you know, some bigger frogs for some snake heads. And of course, this cool one. Now, I am very, very curious how heavy this guy weighs. It's a freaking banana. So why don't we first start off by weighing this little guy. So we have this at seven grams, which is a quarter ounce. This hook here is pretty darn thick. So uh, in order to penetrate through some of the mouths, you definitely want a, you know, a stiffer rod, some thicker line, and I'll likely use this for snake heads and, you know, bigger bass. Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna quickly compare to the micro frog, one of my favorite ones, is a super tiny one. And for some odd reason, a lot of people on my social media, especially Instagram, say this is a fly lure. Uh, Lex Papenka, feel free to chime in. Is this a fly lure? Or do you intend to just have it as a spinning lure or, you know, um, bait finesse lure? But yeah, I think some fly folks might be interested. So, you know, maybe I should fly fish this. What do you guys say? But anyway, yeah, as you guys see, this hook is pretty pretty thick too for a small little lure because you know what? There's a lot of small micro snakeheads in Southeast Asia. And um, yeah, they got strong bite force and uh, they have strong bone structure and a death row. So yeah, this, this, this hook is very, very strong. So it should last a long time. You should be able to catch some, some bass, some panfish with it because I have fished this before and I caught some nice bluegills. Uh, yeah, let's weigh this guy. For those who haven't watched that video, you got probably are interested in exactly how much this guy weighs. We want to put this guy at grams. It should be like around 0 0.8 to 0 0.9. 0 0.9. There you go. And we have another one, a different color. Should be 0.9 too, right? Oh, 0.8. Oh, 0.9. Yeah, cheap scales. 0.9. But yeah, this guy right here, man, so small. Man, look at that. That's the penny right there. American penny, 2021. I'll put it exactly on top for another perspective. Pretty cool, eh? Anyways, um, I'm going to this big frog next because I am doing some snakehead fishing. So I do want to throw some of these. Look at that. Close to half uh, ounce. So this is actually easy for me to show because it's bigger and I can just squeeze it. And let's be quiet for a second. So yeah, they're very soft, easy to clasp, and it goes back into shape very, very quick. So it's it's pretty cool. All right. So yeah, hooks again, very, very sharp. It feels like everything is gonna be weedless, but it's sharp. But uh, yeah, man, very, very impressive. And did I already mention this in the beginning video that these are all handmade? Yes, they are all handmade. Lex Papinka created a mold, made the body, and then put everything together. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so let's put these medium-sized frogs on a scale for a second, and then we'll go take a look at it afterwards. So that's 3.1, 3.1. Oh, okay, so they're, they're the same size as a uh, little different colors. I do like pink because they stand out on the green covers and have enough dark colors so that uh, it create a silhouette. Okay, so yeah, this guy here, hooks are pretty strong as well, which is great. So yeah, I'll probably use this guy with a, a light action rod to medium light, probably leaning towards the uh, medium light side because again, the hooks are a little bit thick, which is great, okay? Uh, you don't want weak frog hooks, never, 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 never. But yeah, these are fun. So anyways, uh, that's my quick unboxing video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you guys are interested in seeing me fish these, don't forget to turn on the bell notifications because it's summertime and you guys know me, I love fishing top water baits. Um, out of all of these, which one do you guys want to see me fish first? I have a feeling it's going to be the banana. All right. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. The fish don't wait. Get out there. Catch some fish.